Hello everyone, this is WaywardVin911, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X. In the last episode, we started the game and beat Chill Penguin and Sting Chameleon, as well as got some power-ups from both of them. But now we're going to be taking on Storm Eagle. Who, by the way, has a kick-ass theme. And just listen to it for a little. I'm, I'm going to shut up while I let you listen to it. Yeah! So anyway, we're in Storm Eagle stage. He has... He's based in an airport. I mean, go figure. He's a... E he's an eagle. But nonetheless... Here's a secret. Jump down here with a dash jump, and you can get a heart tank. What do heart tanks do? Well, if you watch my other LPs, you should know that heart tanks increase your maximum life. In this game, it has a specific point count, pixel count rather, of two. So that's neat. Anyway, the enemies in this stage are Pillsbury Joe, or whatever the fuck they're called. Um, those things, these turrets, which you can, if you kill this one, you can climb up here, destroy the wall here, find one of these things, I actually don't know what they're called, I'm just gonna call them Intro Monsters 1. Oh yeah, and you can find an E-Tank. What do E-Tanks do? Well, they're not really E-Tanks here, they're sub-tanks. But what do they do, you may ask? Well, you can store, you can store spare health in them. So that in the event you're, like, fighting a boss, which is really hard, you're almost out of health, BAM! Health restored! That's a nifty little thing they added. And you keep it forever, it's not like the E-Tanks, which I kept calling them, even though the E-Tanks are Mega Man, where it's just one thing, it restores, your, it restores you to full health, but you have to keep getting them. They're... Fuck. Okay. Okay. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. Okay. Didn't want the first death being a platforming death. Even though it's probably gonna happen anyway, because I just jinxed it. Ah, uh, platforming deaths. Gotta love them. Or, hate them. What, what's down here? I'm curious. Because with these things, it's recommended that you use uh, another special weapon with them. But honestly, you you are allowed to get to get it by just shooting it randomly like that. And ooh, look, a free life. So that's neato. Ow. Ah, the music looped. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with playing this on the X collection. Since it reads it off a disc, the music loops a bit bleh. Well, it's a worthy sacrifice in order to be able to record this thing. But anyway, using my other finger! And it works. Anyway, here's our next power-up and my horrible talk-alike voice. This capsule contains an enhancement for your helmet. Which will allow you to break some ceilings with a headbutt. Nice and short. Love your style, Dr. Light. Love your style. Anyway, this is the most useful, useless power-up ever. Excuse me, I have my words mixed up. All it does is slams blocks. Compatible blocks, even. But the thing is, so can your feet. This power-up is only good in one situation. Which I'll get to, which I'll get to, like, right after this stage, so stay tuned. Anyway, I'm just gonna collect this extra life because you know you can never be you can never have too many lives. But seriously, you can you can't have more than nine. But I digress. Anyway, we also have the chicken walkers in this stage, just to name off a few more enemies before we reach this part. Oh my God! Okay, now we're on an airplane. And with the most unique way of entering the boss battle ever, 
go through this. All right, and then, oh my God, it blew up. Hello, Storm Eagle. So Storm Eagle is pretty easy. The hardest part is making sure he doesn't spawn babies. You'll see what I mean. Anyway, I'm not taking this the correct way. Ow. Whoa, oh my god, he's flying. <laughs> is it not obvious enough yet who I'm trying to emulate? Ow. Anyway. Got him on the ropes. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, don't let him spit out his babies. Down, damn it. Which I'm really bad at, though this boss fight's easy nonetheless. Well, I say easy, but the first time I fought him, I had a hard time too. So, just some food for thought in case you're losing to this guy. Anyway, woo, we beat him! Didn't talk about battle strategies all too much, but seriously, what's there to talk about? Other than, he tries to drop- he tries to blow you off the stage, he hits you with a tornado, he flies around the stage, and he spawns his babies. So, thanks to beating him, we get the Storm Tornado! Probably the most broken ability in this game. See that? That, igno that ignores most invincibility frames of, the, of enemies. So it's pretty awesome. And if I were going in... If I were using weaknesses, it would be helpful against Flame Mammoth, who we're going to be taking on next, not due to the weakness, but due to our next power-up. Here, here he is. Now, Flame Mammoth stage takes place in a in a incineration facility, but since we beat Chill Penguin beforehand, now the lava is replaced with ice. Don't ask me why. But it makes this stage a cakewalk, since normally lava is what is instant kill, but but you can trek over it easy now due to the ice. Oh yeah, here's a really hard part. You gotta hit this ledge, that they also put it right out of your reach. So yeah, I'm gonna, be, I'm probably gonna be here for a while. Future me, fast forward, please. And there we go. Anyway, so now that we've gotten through that, we can get our final power-up. This capsule contains a part, which will increase the capabilities of your X-Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. That's a really bad explanation, Dr. Light. So what it really does is it allows you to do a supercharge shot as shown right here I love how they demonstrate it and it also allows you to charge up your special weapons it takes up more it takes up more energy than normal but still it can be pretty useful in some situations at least anyway because I'm a klepto I want to get this get this remaining block 
Nah, get it. Get it. Get it. Okay, there we go. My kleptomania has been satisfied. But anyway, just make your way under these these platforms and get yourself a heart container. Heart tank. Right here. This isn't Zelda Wayward. So yeah. So this... So I'm already fully armored. <laughs> yeah, I, I chose this specific order just so that I'm armored already. It's not the weakness order, so... If you need to use the weaknesses, you're gonna have it much later, since... If you're gonna go with Chill Penguin first like a sane person, Flame Mammoth will be last. But anyway, jump off here, which is supposedly suicidal jump. But then you get to this, which you can easily break in order to get a another E-Tank. Wait, that's another E-Tank, right? Yes. Okay. So the way you fill up these E-Tanks is you have full health, and then you pick up more health. And then it just fills up like that. So that's a good thing to note, especially in the end game. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Anyway, here, just go as fast as possible because these things will crush you. I'm not sure if they're instant kill, I've never had that problem. But yeah. Anyway, my strategy for this part, the part with all the oil, stick to the top as much as possible. Oh yeah, that that blood that blood stuff dripping, that's probably a reference to Mega Man 2. You can't tell me it's not. Anyway, ow. Uh, <laughs> I got you got to love hearing these tracks loop. But anyway, here we are with Flame Mammoth. And I'm surprised how fast this these stages are going. Because I usually have a hard time with this stuff. I probably will in the end game, but whatever. Anyway, Flame Mammoth. He's really heavy, so one of his... A part of his assault is jumping and then landing, which causes the ground to shake and you to get stunned. Like that. That's part of his strategy. See, I keep... Falling for it, for I don't know why. He also has the uh, capability to change. You're fighting on a conveyor belt, so he has the capability of changing the way the conveyor belt goes. So, yeah. The best way to fight these guys now is to just hit them with your supercharged X Buster. Well, at least if you're using just the X Buster. Of course, the weakness does 10 times better. But we'll get to that in the end game. Anyway, make sure you don't release your grip on your on your charge button while he's while you're shocked. Otherwise, you won't hurt him. Anyway, that's him. All he does is use fire-based and oil-based attacks. Nothing too special, and nothing you can't handle. So, that's a wrap of this stage. Anyway, from Flame Mammoth, we get the special weapon known as Fire Wave, even though you didn't get to see how it worked because I was an idiot and pressed the A button. Anyway, let's save and then move on to our next victim of the day. Spark Mandrill. This stage is gonna be a bit of a pain since we already beat Storm Eagle, but meh. At least we're fully armored. Cause right now this place is a mess because I I don't know. I guess Storm Eagle's plane crashed here, but the lights are gonna flicker on and off. So yeah. Because Mega Man X has stayed, the stages change, some stages change depending on who you beat. Now obviously the upside is that you don't have to deal with the sparks mo con constantly moving through the floor. But at the same time the platforming is hard. Like really hard, like 
You have to st you have to make sure you can see what you're doing hard. Otherwise, you'll die hard. Which pretty much applies to any platforming. So what am I talking about? Ow! And no, 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 no. Okay. Safe. Safe. Anyway, I believe we're coming up on a mini boss. Now, I'm gonna be using a, a weakness for this mini boss because honestly, I can't do it without it. Ah! What? What? Okay, so it's this thing, and what you do to beat it is is you hit it co constantly with your sh with shotgun ice. And that's gonna take it down a number. So, yeah. Make sure you're doing that. It makes the fight ten times easier. So, just make sure you use it. I mean, if you're going in weakness order, and you're just good enough at platforming that you haven't died yet, make sure you conserve your... Your weapon energy, because this is actually Spark's, Spark Mandrill's weakness. So, yeah. Shotgun Ice, Spark Mandrill's weakness. Keep note of that. But anyway, oh my god, more flickering lights. I hate this flickering light stuff. Ow. Okay, that wasn't the flickering light's fault, but I digress. Still flickering lights. I don't like it. It's mean. Kind of like how Abukan and Cool Dog are mean when they try to take over my channel and then suck at the commentary. I'm sorry, you guys, but you just. It's not due to the fact that you're bad people, it's just you haven't had enough practice. But anyway, here's another heart tank. H how do you get it? Well, you just. If I can get this, do that. You have to use your dashing, by the way. It, just in case that wasn't obvious. Oh yeah, listen to this theme. Just, this, this is awesome. Like, a lot of people consider it their favorite track. And... Well, I don't really have a favorite track in this game. But I do agree that it's, like... A really friggin' awesome track. Just listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what? I bet you didn't get to hear enough of it, so I'll put a link to the to like some a video of the music right here okay okay so now we're gonna be taking on spark mandro now like flame mammoth he has a he has a theme of being very heavy and he also hurts a lot when he touches you so just make sure that never happens Oh, yep. Ow. The only problem with the supercharged X Buster shot is that it takes way too long to charge. I guess it makes it balanced that way, but still. Holy crap. Uh, uh, running out of commentary. Ow. I'm being like Abu K. But anyway, he's almost dead, so there we go. You gotta love that face he makes when he when Spark Mandrill dies. It's just like he doesn't know how to express his pain, so he just like opens his mouth. Kinda like what I don't remember the reference Nintendo Capri Sun made, but yeah, that's where I got that from. Anyway, from Spark Mandrill we get Electric Spark. Here's how it works. Oh, by the way, I have it. I have, I still haven't bothered to show you how the flame wave works, but oh, here's a perfect 
opportunity to show you how it works. So before I end this episode off, I am going to return to Chill Penguin stage. I'll just cut to when I get to the place I need to be. Alright? Alright. That was my first death. And it was a platforming death. Fuck! Alright, here we are. At Chill Penguin stage. Now to get the- the easiest way to get to this power up is to- No? Okay. Don't need this mech. Now here's what you want to do. You want to dash up here. Oh, by the way, this- This would be Flame Mammoth's power up. Yeah, it's basically a flamethrower. But anyway, um, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. You shoot this and you get a pow you get health up. So that's pretty nifty to have. Anyway, after that horrible travesty that was my first death in Chill Penguin Stage, no less, I'm gonna end this episode off here. So, this has been Way We're Doing 911. If you like this episode, rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Bye-bye.